So things that go bump in the night. Um, one of the symptoms that we see very commonly um, in Parkinson's disease and Lewy body dementia is what we call dream enactment behavior. So dream enactment behavior has a flash term. We call it rapid eye movement sleep behavior disorder, which we translate as RBD, rapid eye movement sleep behavior disorder, REM sleep behavior disorder. So sleep is a very dynamic process. Um, we generally, I guess, know about things like slow wave sleep and dream sleep and the brain going through different stages. And in actual fact, what happens is it cycles through different stages through the night several times. And as we get older, those cycles change and the quality of our sleep changes. With RBD or REM sleep behavior disorder, what we see is a specific parasomnia, something that happens during sleep. And this happens during the dream stage of sleep. So normally during the dream stage of sleep, the cortex, the thinking part of the brain, is very active. You're dreaming very vividly and you can imagine you know, various scenarios going on. But from an evolutionary point of view, what you don't want to do is to tell animals, predators where you're sleeping at night. So you need to be very still. And on an evolutionary perspective, the way that the brain has done that is to have some mechanism low down in the brain stem, we believe, that paralyzes the muscles of the body. So you're still able to breathe, your eye muscles are able to move, and therefore your dreams uh, are, are mirrored by this rapid eye movement of which characterizes that stage of sleep. Um, the muscles controlling the ossicles, the bones of your ears to react to noise are still working, but everything else is paralyzed. However, in diseases of the brain uh, that are associated with a specific protein, and we've got videos here to tell you more about this protein called alpha-synuclein. So inside uh, the brain of people with alpha-synuclein disease, what we'll see is these tangled proteins lying either inside cells or outside cells. And whether it's killing the cells, we don't know yet. But effectively, there are three diseases that seem to get this pathology, Parkinson's disease, Lewy body dementia and multiple system atrophy. And these three diseases and this pathology seems to disrupt that switch that's low down in the brainstem and allows people to act out their dreams. Now, obviously, the content of dreams can often be violent. So people are either running away or they're in a fight or they're playing a sport or jumping. And so, in actual fact, we commonly get reports of people doing these things in their sleep. So in Parkinson's disease, about half of all patients will do this. Um, in Lewy body dementia, it's said about three quarters of all patients, maybe a little bit more. And in multiple system atrophy, over nine out of 10 patients will get this dream behavior. So it's very common. And what we'll do in a, a subsequent clip is tell us about how to treat it and also some of the other factors that are important in relation to RBD.